When we look at toys, it gives us all kinds of feelings of nostalgia, for it takes us back to the happier times when we were children. One toy in particular, called the Hello Kitty, has captured the hearts of many children all over the world ever since its first release. The doll itself is a cute fictional cartoon character produced by the Japanese company Sanrio in 1974, but was originally created by Yuko Shimizu, who was the original designer of this iconic figure. When we look at Hello Kitty, we just see a representation of a kitten. But to be more precise, it is actually depicted as a female anthropomorphization of a Japanese bobtail with a red bow and notably, no mouth. But what does this have to do with what we have to discuss today? Well, believe it or not, what seems like a harmless, cute, and innocent character actually is tied to an urban legend that centers around satanic rituals and murders. In today's episode of The Urban Legends, we're going to be observing the sinister legend of Hello Kitty's actual history and a gruesome murder that was committed in Hong Kong. Does Hello Kitty really have a dark past? Are these simply just rumors and speculations? Also, how does this tie into the murder that was committed in Hong Kong? We shall explore these questions now. Let's first dive deep into the supposedly claimed dark history of Hello Kitty. According to the legend, Hello Kitty was created back in the 1970s by a Chinese woman rather than Yuko Shimizu. It was rumored that this woman's 14-year-old daughter was diagnosed with cancer of the mouth. The doctors have notified the mother that her child was terminally <laughs> ill and there was absolutely no way to cure her. The mother, however, refused to give up hope and made it her mission to pray in her city's church every day for God to save her daughter. Days go by, and unfortunately, her prayers were never answered. After no luck, the desperate mother became involved with various satanic rituals that called upon the devils for worship. The devil himself eventually gave the mother a deal that she could not refuse. For curing her daughter's cancer, the devil demanded only one thing in return, which was to create a cartoon character that would appeal to children all over the world and use that to trick people into worshipping Satan. <laughs> When her daughter fully recovered from the cancer, the mother immediately kept her promise and created the iconic cartoon that we all know today as Hello Kitty. If you've ever wondered why this character was specifically designed to have no mouth, the story tells that the reason was due to the daughter having cancer in that part of her body herself. It was told from the story that Hello Kitty's ears also represented the devil's horns. However, at the end of the day, all of this was just an urban myth. Hello Kitty was actually created by the Japanese company Sanrio that specializes in designing and branding cartoon characters. The character itself was originally designed to be a decoration on a purse, but obviously over time, it grew into something larger. So the truth is, Hello Kitty in no way shape or form is associated with any satanic rituals or any kind of devil worship at all, hence why this urban legend is concluded as a false hoax. But even though it is a false hoax, Hello Kitty was actually part of a real brutal murder that has taken place in Hong Kong that the case later became known as the Hello Kitty murder. Fast forward 25 years later to March 17, 1999 after Hello Kitty's first release. A 23-year-old nightclub hostess by the name of Fan Man Yi was abducted and tortured by three men over a money dispute. During that time, she allegedly stole a wallet of a Hong Kong drug lord named Chan Man Lok that contained $4,000 inside. To settle the dispute, Chan demanded the money back to be returned with interest. But due to the inability for Fan to repay her debts, Chan along with his associates, Lung Xing Cho and Lun Wai Lung, hatched a plan to kidnap the woman and force her to work as a sex worker. They eventually abducted her from her home and took her to Chan's apartment on Granville Road in Hong Kong. The apartment, which the three men shared, was furnished with lots of Hello Kitty products, including sheets, curtains, kitchenware, and a large stuffed toy of the popular cartoon character as a mermaid. However, soon after Fan entered the apartment, the trio abandoned the idea of forcing her into prostitution, and instead they began subjecting her to horrific and unrelenting torture. Fan was regularly assaulted and abused in increasingly sadistic and disturbing ways for approximately one month and never left the apartment alive. While Fan was being held against her will and tortured, 
Chan was dating a 13-year-old girl who was regularly visiting the Granville Road apartment. The teenager, who is known as Ah Fong, not only witnessed the terrifying acts her boyfriend did and his fellow gangsters inflicted upon Fan, she also participated in the abuse herself. According to Ah Fong, on one occasion she watched Chan kick Fan approximately 50 times, so she joined in by hitting the 23-year-old woman with her hand. The teenager also admitted to committing other acts of torture, and when she was questioned about her motives, she said, quote, I had the feeling it was for fun. End quote. After being subjected to a sadistic torture for an entire month, Afeng allegedly discovered that Fan was dead. While the three men later tried to argue she died after overdosing on methamphetamines, it's more likely she died from the many injuries that she received while being imprisoned in the Granville Road apartment, especially since she had been reportedly been falling in and out of consciousness in the days leading up to her death. After finding Fan's dead body at some point in mid-April, the men placed her corpse in the bathtub and dismembered it with a saw, and cooked her remains by boiling it on the stove to stop her body from decomposing and emitting the odor of rotting human flesh. After Afang went to the Hong Kong police, officials searched the apartment. While the men had moved out of the flat, a number of belongings were left behind, including a large Hello Kitty mermaid doll. When they took the stuffed toy apart, they discovered Fan's severed head had been sewn inside the Hello Kitty doll. They also found a single tooth, which they were later able to connect to Fan, and on top of the canopy of a store located below the flat, officers recovered a bag containing her partially decomposed internal organs. With Afong's accounts of the crimes and the physical evidence recovered from the apartment, Hong Kong officer arrested Chan, Xing Chou, and Wai Lun in connection with Fan's death. After months of observing Fan Ye Yi's corpse by the Hong Kong police, it was later concluded that she was brutally abused and tortured through various methods. One of these methods included that she was forced to consume human urine as well as feces. Chan, Xing Chou, Wai Lun, and Ah Feng also tortured Fan by melting straws and dripping the scaling hot liquid plastic onto the soles of her feet. Ah Feng admitted to pouring chili oil onto the burns made by the melted plastic, causing Fan to experience excruciating pain. They also bound the young mother's wrists together with electrical wire and suspended her from the ceiling. Then they beat Fan all over her body with metal pipes and table legs until her head was covered with blood and her fingers were broken. Ah Feng eventually received immunity from prosecution in exchange for her testimony against her boyfriend and his two accomplices. While all three men denied killing Fan during their six-week trial, they admitted to preventing the young mother from receiving a lawful burial which is a criminal charge in Hong Kong. Chan and Wai Lun both pleaded guilty to false imprisonment, a charge in which Xing Chou denied. And throughout their trial, the three men accused one another of torturing Fan while minimizing their own roles in the horrific abuse she endured over the last month of her life. The defense also tried to convince the jury Fan may have died as a result of drug overdose. While Fan had been a recurring user of methamphetamines prior to becoming pregnant with her son, her husband testified she had stopped using the drugs years earlier when she found out she was pregnant. Because of the way in which three men disposed of Fan's body, medical authorities were unable to determine exactly how the young mother died, so a jury refused to find him guilty of murder. Instead, the trio was convicted of manslaughter in December 2000, and they were sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after just 20 years. Following Fan's death, Ah Feng started to have nightmares about the sadistic torture she and the three gang members had inflicted upon the young mother. The 13-year-old also became convinced that Fan's restless spirit was haunting her, and she felt the only way she could free herself from the ghost was to confess to the police. <laughs> In May 1999, Ah Feng went to the Hong Kong police station and told the authorities about Fan's month of suffering and her resulting death. Initially, officials found the teenager's account so disturbing and unbelievable, they nearly dismissed Ah Feng's story as a bizarre fantasy. However, they decided to search the flat, which the three men had recently vacated, and they discovered a number of pieces of disturbing evidence that corroborated the teenager's horrifying allegations. Overall, the murder of Fan Ye Yi was very unfortunate and depressing. She made one mistake in her life that caused her life to be shortly lived inside of a Hello Kitty doll. Although justice was never fully served, the three men are sentenced to life in prison and serving there quite well. Whether the revengeful spirit of Fan Mei Yi is a testament to the demonic presence of a Hello Kitty character is still open up for interpretation. However, the next time you stop by a Sanrio store, 
will you be drawn into the Hello Kitty channel? I just want to say thank you to everyone who ever watched this video. If you can, it would be greatly appreciated if you can smash the like button on this video and share it to others. But most importantly, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. Also, please feel free to tell me in the comment section below on which urban legend I should do next. This is Mr. Shin Ramen. Till next time, stay safe and stay scared.